welcome to 2017 everybody i'm justin davis and this is a full review and overview of the app bot riley it's going to be the new trend for 2017 security bots home wi-fi enabled security bots are going to be everywhere the newest uh, dvr technology is going to be a thing of the past because this records straight to your smartphone if the thieves break into your house and they steal your dvr for your home security camera system they can take that with them and hit the road if they break in and they steal Riley, the thing about that is the smartphone is actually already backed up all your video and content from them breaking in. So you can use that for evidence for the police. You can send that over to them. Now, the neatest thing about this also is that it is moving around your house in real time. You can control it from your smartphone when either iOS or Android it has a ton of different features in here as well, like motion detect. So if someone walks in the room, comes in your front door, it automatically starts recording video and audio so you have a transcript of whatever was said in the room as well as it has a lipo built into it it goes back and auto docks when it gets low on battery uh, it has little tank treads left and right they have cute little colors that you can change and make him a little friendlier looking uh, also has a microphone on board so it has two-way audio you can have a conversation with your uh, mother or somebody that walks in the room or say hello to your dog while you're at work uh, this is great for vacation homes as well you can put this in a vacation home and when you're anywhere in the world you can pick up your smartphone and see what's happening in your house in real time but the neatest thing about it is that you don't have to have a DVR with this one so the new cloud technology backs up all your video and you've got it right there wherever you are in the world so let's take a closer look at the app bot Riley and I'll show you what's so cool about it okay so you're looking at everything that comes along with the app bot Riley inside the box here excluding this camera right here this is from my old home uh, and I had this outside the residence and I just wanted to show you some scale the Riley and the original camera there they both have infrared lighting on them for nighttime view for looking and, and seeing things in the dark and videoing stuff in the dark uh, you also get a USB charger here hook up to your computer and you can charge Riley from your laptop or your uh, USB charging battery if you want to you also have this AC adapter you can plug it into the wall you can have it sitting on your desk or in a pretty smart spot in your home uh, if you wanted to have Riley rotating on this dock. Now the cool thing about the dock is that it is a turntable. It spins around so while Riley is charging you can actually have him looking around uh, using your app on your phone. To get Riley working on your home network it's not that hard. All you have to do is go into settings and Riley's going to send out a Wi-Fi signal and it's going to say app bot dash a series of numbers afterwards go ahead and check that click on that and you're going to enter in the password four ones and four twos once you do that you're going to go out of that app settings app and you're going to go over to the riley app bot app you're going to see that load up on the screen and then you're going to see this next one on the list uh, but this one's going to actually going to say it's going to say home your home wi-fi network here and you're going to want to click on your home Wi-Fi network, enter in your own password that's on your Wi-Fi network because the bot needs to connect to the app. Uh, the app needs to connect to your home, home Wi-Fi. So once you do that, then you can go to this next screen and it's going to show you a series, a list here for which app bot you're connecting to. You can have several different app bots connected to this and you can have uh, more than one roaming around the house, which is kind of a cool feature of this app. If you wanted to tap on that plus, you can add a new one. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then you can go through the setup on that one as well. This kind of gives you icons of what to do during the setup procedure. Uh, so we don't have to do any of that. And now I'm back on the app bot list and I see my app bot and my number right there. And now I can go ahead and click that. And the default password for that is going to be one, two, three, four. And you click OK. And then it's going to take a moment to load up the app bot camera view. But once this loads up, it'll show you what's in front of the robot and it'll show you controls. Now we see a live view right here of the Riley bot and I have some controls on the screen here. This left one is a joystick for up and down for the camera to point up and down. I can move it all the way up. I can look at the ceiling straight up or I can push it all the way down and see the floor here very close to the ground. So pretty neat that you can control the camera angle up and down. If I want to turn him even on the dock right there Take this right joystick and just move my finger right and left. And then I can change the view. I can also, if I'm off the dock, I can run around on these little treads, just like a little army tank. It's actually pretty neat. 
Uh, so I can do an automatic undocking as well. So if you click these uh, little buttons here on the side, this little gear wheel, it's gonna show a bunch of other options in here. You have a ton of stuff in here. You've got your movie gallery, your other events. We have this video in here when we were looking for the mouse. Uh, I can play that over and the mouse never appeared, but look how good it sees in the dark right there. You can see the mouse trap and the little glue trap there. I can press stop and go back to my other videos that I made. It did not catch the mouse, but we'll try another day, another night. Uh, so we'll click the gear wheel again. And if I want to dismount from the charging station, I just press that little dock button right there. It says undock. Yes. And now it backs off automatically. I can turn him and he's actually quite fast. Okay. Now, if I want to get back on the dock and say the dock is facing another direction like this, now this is pretty cool. Watch this. I just point the robot toward the dock and I see the dock right there. I'm ready to go ahead and dock. I'll hit that gear wheel and we'll hit this same button that you hit before to, to do an undocking. You'll hit that again to dock. Now watch the Riley. The bot sees it. The dock emits a light, an infrared light for it to go ahead and dock. So it drives up to it automatically without me touching it. This will turn, face it, and it automatically docks. How cool is that? And then you go back to your turntable setup, which is super neat. You can also go in here and I'll show you this. I have this box sitting here because I wanted to show you resolution. Uh, you can change the resolution on your Riley just by going to the gear wheel. Click on the gear wheel. That top left one looks like a little series of stairs there. It says L right there. That means low. So you can see the resolution here on the screen looks a little bit fuzzy. Now I can change that to medium and it's going to change the resolution there. So if I want a higher resolution snapshot, I can do that. I'm going to press high, go to a more high resolution shot. I can also do that. Now I can go back out. And if I want to take a snapshot up at the very top, I can take a snapshot there or I can start video recording here. Now I'm recording video. And like I said, this doesn't have a DVR, so that's pretty neat. Now I'm going to stop and I'm going to go check my video and the photo that I made here in the dock in the events log. Now it might take a second for that to upload, so we'll just check that again later because that's being, it'll upload to the cloud and then you can view it later. Uh, also on the screen, you have telemetry for your bot battery lets you know that you also have a Wi-Fi signal there. Now I'm going to go back to the gear wheel here and I'm going to show you a few more options and then we'll do some driving around the house. Uh, you can also hit the I button for the latest software version on it. You can also update the software via the app. Uh, let's see if we can go back to changing the password. If you click that little lock on the left, that'll let you reset your password and change it to something else. Don't leave it set to one, two, three, four. You also have motion detect here. It looks like a little intruder with a little crosshair there and that is where you want to do motion detect so if you see any motion he'll actually start recording video you also can turn on and off the controllers on the screen so if you didn't want to see that on screen you can turn that off by clicking that little gamer icon over here on the top right now that's your undocking button there and also here we have something a little speaker if we click that and click it off it turns on and off the mic so if i want to say something to someone in the room once I have that activated, it shows me a little microphone tab down there. And now I can speak into the mic. Hello, oh, is it working? working. Hello, hello, hello. That's, That's pretty, pretty awesome. awesome. Hi, Hi, Mom. Mom. So you can also speak to somebody in the room. Now it has one more feature that I didn't show you yet, which is it can pick itself up. Any robot that I've ever had, I've always worried about it falling over because once they fall over, they're usually not getting back up. So I'll go ahead and undock real quick. And I'll move the dock out of the way and I'll drive forward a little bit here, right in the middle of the screen. And I am going to flip Riley over on his face. And now we're going to hit this little icon here with a little up arrow. And Riley will write, write himself. So it works really good on carpet. It works okay on hardwoods. Sometimes he has to do it twice on hardwoods, but it does work quite well and very well on the bench right here.
no problem. Riley can just write himself. That's pretty cool. So now we can go ahead and do a little bit of driving around on the hardwoods. So that's about it for our review of the AppBot Riley. And this is definitely one of the coolest innovations I've seen so far in January, 2017. This is the version two AppBot Riley. You can check him out on amazon.com for about $199. You can also find out more information, go to their website directly at varram.com. That's varram.com. This was designed and made in Korea, but they are a company residing in California. So you can check them out, find out more information about AppBot Riley. Do I recommend them? Most definitely I do, because I think it's one of the coolest, newest, awesomest innovations out there. So thanks again for watching the Drone Camps channel, you guys. Please pass this video on to your friends, because I'm sure they would think this is the coolest thing in the world. I'm Justin Davis. I will see you on the next one.